Well, the total solar eclipse is only 20 days away now, and many have one question on their minds. Will we be able to see the eclipse if it's cloudy? Right, April 8th is going to get here, and you go outside, and you go, oh, okay, so it's a big question. What's going to happen if it's super cloudy? I have no idea. Aaron Myler, that's why we have you. Uh, the chances on seeing this thing on April 8th if it's still cloudy, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, it's still a little bit too far away, you guys, to make a forecast. So instead, we're going to take a look back at the past so we can get a better idea of what that day normally looks like. So I researched the sky conditions on April 8th at 3.30 p.m. for the past 50 years. That's the date and time when the total solar eclipse will occur. Obviously, some of the years were cloudy, some had snow, some had rain, but I took each year and simplified it. Would the skies be clear enough for us to see the eclipse? Historical cloud data is not quite as well kept as variables like temperature and wind, and for this reason, we had to assume that if it was a cloudy day, they would have been thick enough to block the view. Now, what I found was that we only had clear conditions 19 out of the past 50 years. That means that statistically, we only have a 38% chance of having a clear view of the eclipse. But what does it mean if it's cloudy during the eclipse? Does that mean we'll completely miss it? I asked the question to Dr. Angela Speck, who is the co-chair of the American Astronomical Society Solar Eclipse Task Force, and this was her answer. If it's really cloudy, if it's like dense cloud, then you're not gonna see all the cool stuff like the corona of the sun and planets and things during the eclipse. However, it's still gonna get dark. Now, if there is light cloud, it's a little different. If there is light cloud, one of the things that happens is as the shadow of the moon crosses the earth, it changes the temperature. It, the temperature can drop by up to about 10 degrees Fahrenheit. And so um, that also lowers the pressure and gives rise to breezes. And so those breezes can actually, as the shadow is coming in, clear out light cloud. Now, Dr. Speck said that if a breeze doesn't clear the thin clouds, you will still be able to see the eclipse through them. It just won't be quite as clear. This all boils down to say that while there isn't a guarantee that we will have a clear view of the eclipse, we will still be able to see the effects of it one way or another.